Let's talk about how the world found out about America's secret fleet of stealth Black Hawk helicopters, and how these helicopters remain one of the most lasting mysteries in modern aviation. Back in May of 2011, an elite group of U.S. special operators, mostly hailing from DevGrew or SEAL Team 6, conducted Operation Neptune Spear, which you may recall was the operation that ultimately killed Osama bin Laden. Now, the plan for this CIA-led operation was for these operators to enter into Pakistan via two highly classified stealth Black Hawk helicopters. One was to land outside the perimeter walls to deploy canine units, interpreters, and operators for perimeter defense, while the other was supposed to hover over the compound to allow the SEALs inside to fast rope down into the compound itself. However, that night, the higher than expected temperatures combined with the high compound walls made it very difficult for the downwash from the rotor blades to diffuse the way they need to to continue generating lift. We call this a vortex ring state. In effect, it makes the helicopter uncontrollable. And as that started to happen, the pilot on board, hailing from the 160th SOAR, knew exactly what to do. He put the nose down immediately, crashing the helicopter at a 45 degree angle and saving everyone on board. The SEALs were able to disembark and complete their operation, ultimately destroying the helicopter to make sure that none of its classified technology could fall into enemy hands. But the following day, when pictures from the compound surfaced in the media, you could very clearly see an alien looking and very angular tail section that had been left behind. Behind. This was the world's first glimpse of these stealth Blackhawks, and to date, we still haven't seen any more of them. Now, for the longest time, the going theory about these stealth Blackhawks is that they were regular Blackhawks equipped with a kit of sorts that gave them stealth capabilities, but it now seems evident that that wasn't the case. And in fact, development on these stealth Blackhawks actually predates the F-117 Nighthawk, entering service. And I can tell you that thanks to this report put together by Sikorsky, the firm that builds Blackhawks a year prior to the Blackhawk entering service. This report dubbed Structural Concepts and Aerodynamic Analysis for Low Radar Cross-Section Fuselage Configurations is actually a how-to playbook on how to build a stealth Blackhawk. But this story only gets crazier from here, because according to that 1978 report, Sikorsky knew that incorporating these stealth elements into the Blackhawk's design would not only dramatically compromise its performance, but its vertical stability as well. And even though significant changes were incorporated to try to address that problem, more than three decades later, as SEAL Team 6 was training for Operation Neptune Spear, they agreed that it was too unstable to use. In fact, it became such a point of contention that according to some reports, the command master chief of SEAL Team 6 was nearly fired over his complaints about these rotor craft. Of course, he would ultimately prove to be right when SEAL Team 6 was forced to leave one of these exotic platforms behind after Operation Neptune Spear. Now, the story of these stealth Blackhawks, their history, and where they are today is an absolutely massive one. And as you might expect, I'm in the midst of putting together a full write-up and a full-length video that'll go live this Friday.